Hey what's up guys I am Anish Anand from DJ Training Academy New Delhi India and today I am here to talk about some more info on Ableton Live today we'll be uh, taking a sneak peek on different views that are available in Ableton Live software I'll be also telling you how to save your uh, default set as per your preferences also I'll be telling you how to save your files your projects properly so that you don't face any problems such as missing files or missing links whenever you open your project again in Ableton Live okay so let's dig in Ableton Live is a very very unique platform where you get two unique views to create and perform music by default whenever you open Ableton Live it will show you the session view that's in the center here and to go to the arrangement view the second view in Ableton Live you need to click on this button on the right the shortcut key to switch over between session and the arrangement view is tab key so as soon as you press the tab key you can toggle in between two views easily so that's the arrangement view arrangement view is a very very common view as you may have seen this view in many other doors like logic pro or cubase or maybe uh, any other uh, editing software like audacity or uh, soundforge so this is the linear format editing and arrangement window where most of the editing and music making and the arrangement is done in this window let's toggle out from arrangement to the session view i'll be pressing tab key this is the session window session window is basically used by the live performance like uh, the DJs or live bands starting from beneath we get this mixer section we have a record enable button here we have a solo button this is the track activator button we have this pan knob we have this sends knob we have the mixer fader the volume fader the channel fader this is the input and output routing section and above that as you can see these rectangle boxes are called clips where you can store your samples your tracks or maybe your set your non-stop sets let me give you an example okay we have two clips now I have actually fetched these clips from the browser menu to play these clips you need to click on this play button to stop these clips you can either click on the stop clip button or press the space bar or click this stop button on the control panel from top to bottom this column is called a track you can play only one clip in a track if there is another clip on the same track and you want to play that clip you have to click this play button then the moment you play the clip the other clip will stop automatically So you can play only one clip on a track and you have noticed if I'll play this and I play the other clip it takes few seconds to play that is why because this whole Ableton thing is quantized to the global quantized settings that is in the control bar above here right now we have chosen one bar so as soon as we play the first clip and click on the second the second clip would play at the starting of the next bar so that's how Ableton works in the session view let me grab this kick to the other audio track 
so from left to right this row is called a scene and to play the full scene you need to click on the C launch button that's here as soon as you click on the C launch button all the clips on the scene would play automatically So these are the scenes on the right. To play in another scene, it's the same process. Let me copy the kick. We're gonna be pressing the Alt Option button on the Mac and clicking the clip, dragging down, will copy the clip. So now you see, as soon as I play the first scene and I'll click another, It will take the same quantize settings that we have in the global quantization section here on the control bar. As soon as we launch the scene, Ableton actually time sync all the clips present on that scene and plays them together. So that was the um, overview on session view. Let's toggle out and uh, go to the arrangement view. This is the arrangement view as I have told you that's a very common view. Uh, the timeline goes from left as soon as I press the space bar from left to right. As you can see the playhead is moving from left to the right section. So let me toggle out again to session view to just show you how things work. Like session view, as I told you, is a building is a building thing. You can write your music first, and then you can record your session view onto the arrangement view. To do this, we just need to record all these samples to the arrangement, or I can directly uh, grab some clips or samples from the browser window to the uh, arrangement window directly. But right now, I just wanted to record these to the arrangement view. So to do this, first of all, I need to uh, bring down my selection playhead right towards the left so that if I record anything on the arrangement view, it should uh, start from the extreme left, starting from the first bar. So to record, I would press this arrangement record button above the uh, above on the control panel as soon as i press this record uh, arrangement button uh, the ableton would give me a startup time of four beats that is one bar that is again according to the global quantization So I have recorded this to the arrangement view. I'll press tab again. See, as you can see on the audio tracks, the recording is on the tracks. To move on to back to arrangement view, you need to click on this uh, back to arrangement button. That's uh, orange in the color above here. So now you can see it clearly. Let's hear it. So that was the recording I did. Let me delete it again. The other thing is if I can simply select this, uh, select these uh, clips by uh, clicking on command and clicking on the clips drag it and why is it yeah drag it and just click tab and place them here yeah. we've got the clips desired clips on the arrangement view 
both the clips are here so that was just an overview just to give you an idea how ableton works and how these views work um, on the upper side this is the time ruler that states the bar where the number numerical numbers are written these are the bars these are the timelines and uh, yeah so that's the overview uh, leaving these view behind all the rest places around this view are the same like for example the upper part is the control bar where you control your quantization if you need to uh, arm your metronome you need to set your bpm you need to uh, start and play your timeline and many other else which i'll be telling you in detail in other videos on the left side this is the browser section where you browse your sounds your drums your instruments audio effects midi effects max for live plugins third party plugins your clips samples then you have places where the packs are stored uh, these are like by default ableton live packs your user library your folders you can add your folders just click add and you can choose your folder on your laptop that shows in ableton live afterwards on the extreme left bottom this is the info view info view is very very helpful uh, as you uh, take your cursor on any any tab this info view would tell you where your cursor is and would tell you the details on that part where the cursor is rowing about last is the detail view where you find the details of the clips it is same as in arrangement you see all the details here of a clip selected yeah so that is it so yeah that was the overview on uh, different views that ableton live gives us to produce to perform to create music that was just a small brief and overview i'll be discussing this in details in our upcoming videos very very soon uh, now i'll be discussing with you on how to save your projects your files so that you don't get into problems like whenever your files misses or uh, your look uh, your links are broken it is very very simple as soon as you click file go on to file if you're saving the project for the first time then you need to click on save live set as if you click on live set it would just give you an als file ableton live set file that would save the links to the project but it won't save the files that are included in your project so always go and click collect all and save this would give you uh, a window a pop up window that says specify which used media files are to be copied into a project this would copy all the files and keep the copy of those samples or whatever midi or anything in a separate project folder save as i'll name desktop 1 i'll put this on the desktop just to show you i'm keeping this uh, on my desktop so uh, it will create another uh, a, a separate folder where it will copy all those files used in your project and transfer it onto that folder okay so desktop 1 .als is your live set file from where you would open the project and it will create a different folder named as sample that will contain all the samples used in the project by you and as you can see there is another file with the same name but a different extension .asd asd is an analyzed file where all the details of this sample is stored 
if i have edited this track in any kind of way time stretched warped or anything all those details would be there in analyzed file so this is the best way to uh, save your files collect and all just go to file and just click collect all and save this way you won't misplace any any of your files now let me give you a brief on how to save a default set default set is a preset outlay of your personalized window that you want the ableton to open for you whenever you switch on the ableton software for example i don't want midi i just want just two audio tracks let me i'll just again remade or maybe what i'll do is i'll just uh uh stop it and open it again as soon as i launch ableton this is the default state i get to audio to midi i want ableton whenever it switches on it just give me uh four audio let's say I'll go I'll insert audio track insert audio track the shortcut is command T and you'll get audio track and I want uh, for example uh, I want EQ EQs on all of them I want EQs on all of them on I want EQs on two and maybe uh, corpus on other two so that is the default set i want whenever i switch on the ableton live so what i'll do is i'll go into live i'll uh, click on preferences i'll go to files and folder yeah in files and folder the above section save current set as file just click save that's it nothing else now if you shut down your live and open it again the live would show you your default set what you have saved for it see it's for audio this has corpus second is corpus sorry third is corpus second is eq8 and first is eq8 perfect so that's how you save your default set that's it guys i just wanted to give you an overview on ableton live what views they had and uh, how to save your files and how to save a default set uh in uh, my next session i'll be uh, telling you detail on uh, ableton's arrangement view we'll be talking about how to zoom in zoom out how to edit clips in the arrangement view and many other things that i'll be telling you in that video so please subscribe our channel and click on the bell icon so that you get notifications whenever we uh, upload a new video that's me anish anand saying bye bye and uh, see you in the next video bye